Good morning and welcome to the state of Kentucky. You know, I learned the word performative last year and have found it to be pretty useful. It well, works well by itself. Merriam-Webster defines it as done for show. And then there was the call-out performative activism, which Wikipedia defines as activism done to increase one's social capital rather than because of one's devotion to a cause. So today, I want to add a phrase to the lexicon, performative hatred. If you want a definition, here's mine. Acts of hatred carried out to gain political points rather than out of actual hatred. And why is this phrase on my mind today? Because of House Bill 470, the Let's Cause More Teen Suicides Bill, that is being rushed through by the Republicans in Frankfurt. Of course, they don't call it that. With all the irony only right-wingers can muster, they have named it the Do No Harm Act, which is right there with calling the Holocaust population management. You thought Wise's can't use pronouns bill was bad? This one tops it by leaps and bounds. First of all, HB 470 outlaws all gender transition services in the state of Kentucky for anyone under 18. What does that include? Well, everything from actual medical treatment to just discussion of gender to counseling to using preferred pronouns. Don't believe me? Here's the definition right from the bill. Social transition services means any gender-affirming care, encouragement, affirmation, or advocacy for gender transition, including, but not limited to, affirming the person's name change, pronoun adoption, dress and grooming, and sex role-specific behaviors that vary from those behaviors typically associated with the person's sex. Oh, but wait, there's more. The bill also makes it possible for a person providing such help to teenagers to be sued for damages for up to 30 years after the help is provided. And here's the kicker. The bill requires any teacher or school counselor who hears any student even express thoughts about their sexuality to tell the student's parents. So now we've got state-mandated outing of possibly trans children. So here's where the performative hatred comes in. The bill currently has 36 Republican sponsors in the House. I find it impossible to believe that all 36 actually hate trans people. Hell, most of them have probably never met a trans person. They are doing this for one simple reason, to score points with the people in their district who actually do hate trans and gays and anyone whose sexuality doesn't fit their missionary position mindset. Come 2024, all these representatives will be able to tell their voters, that's right, I voted to stop that their woke agenda. We're not going to have any of that LGBTQRZM stuff in our county. And cheers will follow. I posted an article about this bill in Forward Kentucky this morning entitled, Repubs Push Bill to Cause More Teen Suicides. And if you think that is harsh, it's also accurate. If this bill takes effect, more teens will endure in silence, as one young person said in an interview yesterday. They will endure in silence with no safe space until they finally have had enough and kill themselves. This bill will cause more teen suicides. But the 36 Republicans sponsoring it don't care. All they care about is their performative hatred and the applause of bigots. And that has to be called out.